Hello everyone, welcome back to Dominion Online. We're gonna jump in the queue here. Matched instantly, unlike last game. And spin drift. I'll have to remind myself what replace and swap are, but uh Oh and patron. I don't know if I've I've seen patron once, haven't I? What is a patron? Oh yes. This is the replacement of Scout, I think. Yeah. So one grabs a militia, which seems very reasonable. Replace remodels and then either top decks or curses, depending on what you gain. So there's actually no village here. Nope, it's the one labeled village. Got it? Okay. Um, the trashing is weak, but not non-existent. And actually replacing coppers with fool's golds is an interesting approach you could take. Yeah, I mean, we have to get the militia as well. I think we want, like, I don't know. Horse Traders is kind of a fun militia counter and torturer counter. Um, the opponent grabs a silver, which is reasonable to start, like, hitting replace and swap and stuff. Well, you don't want to swap this early, right? I mean, you want... You want Torturer, though, right? Well, I guess that's what the Silver is for, but isn't that also what you would want a Village for? I guess you can pick up the Villages later. I don't know, I was thinking about Fool's Gold earlier, and then I, like... Oh, I hate being Player 2 against Militias. Stop, cancel this... I, I don't like the new pre-move. They did something to pre-moving... I'm turning it off. It keeps accidentally pre-moving when I'm trying to do other stuff. And I've never successfully made a pre-move in my life anyway. Not a good one, anyway. Oh, I gotta replace. I do want... I want my own replaces. Okay, this is obviously a village. Turns the state into advisor, top decking, very nice. Eyes torturer. Now, I need Fool's Gold, at, sorry, Horse Traders at some point. I don't think we're there yet. Give me more advisors. Good news is, opponent's going to discard my Torturer for me, and I can't really play it anyway. Ah, boo. Okay, so... I think actually replacing copper with fool's gold is a mild improvement, right? Although top decking, it's not so hot. And I need to start fighting for villages. Horse traders should be very good right about now, I think. Did I did I gain a torturer or not? I guess not. I think opponent did. Um I sort of thought I had. But horse traders will be good because I'm gonna be getting attacked a fair amount, and I also want to buy cheap stuff like Fool's Golden Village in large numbers.
I mean... Copper is kind of the best thing they can hit right now, isn't it? No, Militia is better. And Village could easily draw a Militia. Second Torturer. Nice. So we replace the estate with an advisor topping and grab a village, right? I don't have that many terminals yet. I could get fool's gold. I don't know. I think the village split is important. Copper into fool's gold, okay. I think we just buy a province. This is not going to be a super reliable engine, I don't think. Eh, it could be. If I were willing to put the effort into it. Uh, sigh. I don't know. I think it's probably supposed to be Torturer here. But I, I don't have to like it. I guess there is an advantage, maybe, to playing the Replace before the Advisor. If I, like, played Village, then Replace... I could put one card on top, but it wouldn't be a good one. Uh, here, though, here, though, it will be. I just want a Fool's Gold, I guess, to guarantee another Torturer. Wow. No villages? No villages. All right, dodged the uh, <laughs> dodged the militia successfully. Thanks, horse traders. Why did I show them that I have this village? Doesn't matter. They were obviously never giving me the torturer anyway. Eight bucks again. This has got to be, but this time I have buys, right? This has got to be Torturer Village. No villages. No villages. Yeah, now they're buying village. One more torture? I think I'm doing okay on the village race. Sick horse traders. Is my militia still in the deck? It is, right? It's not. Okay. But I guess I'll... Because if I could draw a Militia off Village, I would play it first to make sure they discard down to three before I torture them. But since that's not the case, I'll play one Torturer so they don't have information about whether I have another Village.
How are the piles looking, by the way? Villages are almost gone. Torturers are almost gone. Advisors and Fool's Golds are low, but can't empty that quickly, I don't think. Ooh. I could top something, something if I wanted, but I would just be drawing it with Advisor. So if I top something good... Actually, don't I have um, the Torturer in here, right? So when I advise her, they're probably going to discard the Torturer for me. So I probably should replace... Actually, a third Fool's Gold would be pretty rad. Okay. Well, turns out I can't use the Torturer. <laughs> Choosing not to discard Fool's Gold for Province, huh? For Gold, rather? Interesting. I think I want a Province more than a Village, but I think I'm also wrong about that. Sorry, a Torturer more than a Village. I think the Villages are really important. I don't mind discarding these two that badly. And I'm hopeful they might not get to play another Torturer, so I might not have to gain a curse. Okay. I'm glad they're getting all their villages in one hand. Because now their whole... There's no villages in all of this. Uh, does this matter? I guess advisor first. Okay, doesn't make much difference this time. <sighs> Horse traders and advisor both make sense. I don't think Fool's Gold really does. I think, I think hand size is pretty important. But I'm getting tortured pretty much every turn, so Horse Traders should be good. Or attacked every turn, anyway. Well, this is where all the, the villages I needed last turn were. Um, if I horse traders these away, I can buy a duchy. If I replace one of them, then I can't get a duchy. I would have to horse traders discarding my whole hand, right? And have only three bucks. I could mill a province with replace and curse them. That doesn't seem that good. I, well, that, I don't want a duchy. What am I talking about? Well, maybe I do. The piles are very low. But I'm the only one who can gain things quickly, right? I have more horse traders. So what if I just grab a torturer here and replace nothing? This, that was right before probably my last shuffle. So I think it was justified to get... I 
I'm gonna gain the curse here, I think. I sort of predict there's more of this coming. And I'd like to keep these fool's golds together. Even if there's none of this coming, I don't really want to discard two cards. Mm-hmm. Gonna take another. Although I'm not sure why. Okay, yeah, this is why. No! Ah! Undo. I didn't want to do that. That's a nightmare. They they only have like one more torturer, right? Actually, mm. remember I'm gonna have a horse traders and another card, right? So actually, just two fools golds by themselves are a province. But in case I draw a treasure, I'd like to have the militia, right? the hell they're doing a million things two provinces their deck sucks that's not allowed uh I mean, they went through all their tortures in the last shuffle, but they didn't miss the shuffle or anything. I think it's more important to deny these than villages, because for all I know, they have enough villages anyway. Every torture I discard is one they're not playing. Okay, good. It made sense to deny er villages in the early game when opponent was overloaded with terminals and didn't have enough villages, but I don't think that's the case anymore. Close, close game. Sort of wish I could draw my good cards. But I guess Horse Traders isn't that bad. Pretty sure we buy a province. There's not some win, right? Not even close. And now the bottom of my deck is just like five torturers or four torturers and no villages. Maybe there's a village in there, I don't know. But there's a lot of torturers down there, I think. I drew one last turn and, and didn't play it. I discarded it to the horse traders or a couple turns ago. Yeah, there it is. But I still have a bunch in the deck. Yeah, see? This is so miserable. <sighs> and if I play a Torturer, it, it'll, it'll, these will both miss the shuffle, and so will the one in there, I think. Yeah, actually, I think I discard both Torturers, because I just want to, if I play anything, it's going to be a remake. turn an estate into like something 
A re replace. What? Why is it repl waiting for spin drift? Oh, this is an attack. I didn't realize because it can it can curse you. That's true. I think turning this into a gardens is my best play. I don't really want to. Well, top decking an advisor is pretty cool, I guess. But points are also important. And that equalizes the points. Probably Torturer, right? Okay. Ugh. Just can't get the villages to line up with the terminals. Oh, it discards. So I could torture again. And hope to buy a gardens? I get horse traders and guaranteed get five. So bad, these shuffles. I, I don't know. I don't think I deserve them to be this bad. But maybe I do. I think I'm pretty far away from the next Gardens level, but we're also, like, never reshuffling, so... I don't really care about the copper clunking up my deck. Gains Curse. Ooh, that's exciting. We're finally having kind of a turn. Okay, turning this curse into an estate swings three points, actually. Which would matter if I could end the game. It's probably something I want to do, but obviously we, we play this first. But swinging three points actually really does matter because it puts me in the lead when I buy the second to last province, the penultimate province. Now, at the moment, I can't do that. But if I draw something like another Fool's Gold? Nailed it. Now, if opponent can gain province and also something good, then I'll be in trouble. And also, if I can't, like, if I get some more bad hands, I'll be in trouble. But I hope none of those things happen, I guess. Uh, I think one curse ought to be okay. Well, however this game ends up, I can at least say I didn't get clobbered like I have been getting in the last couple games. Ah! All right, GG.
Why? I don't want these dang... Stop that. Yeah, I mean, it was possible that they could gain a Gardens or something as well, but... I had to try to win somehow. I don't think leaving two provinces sitting in the supply was going to result in me winning either. So what's the big difference between our decks here? The curses went 5-5. Five, five. The villages went 5-5. Five, five. Opponent had more advisors and I had more torturers. It all seems pretty similar though. I'm inclined to think there was no big strategic blunder either of us made. It was more of just like a tactical thing. Um, you know, buying something in buying something in the wrong order is both strategic and tactical, I guess, but we were both trying to do basically the same thing, and how well did it work? I don't know, it was it was okay. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.